react to Stranger Things Season 4, Episode 2. Um, yeah, last episode was an interesting introduction into the situation that we are currently in. However, we are dealing with something very different from the last couple of things. So we are dealing with something a lot different. This is like an actual conscience entity, not like a swarm or, or a hive or something. This is like a a, a, a Beckna, basically is what it is. So Beckna's curse. So something the like the 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 head of it, the the core. Like what is this? I am so. It is honestly the one of the, probably the most terrifying so far, like probably the scariest one. It's done a lot. Oh man, I feel so. I'm I'm actually scared to see the consequences of that because it's really weird. But we but Joyce knows Hopper alive though. I don't know how she's gonna how that's going to what she's gonna be able to do about that. So we're gonna find out. We'll see. I've talked enough. Out of the um, yeah. So without further ado, let's begin episode two. It's gonna be Hopper's story, isn't it? It's gonna be what he did. Come on, man. Come on, man. Mm. Wait, did he not go into the... yet? Or did he just fall down there? Was he really just down there the whole time? He was just down there the whole time? I didn't think anybody could survive being in that room with the explosion that happened. <laughs> I find that incredible. Like, of all the things that he did to escape, he was just down there. I mean, it's not like Joyce and them could have escaped with him in time anyway, but still one of those, like, huh. Alright. So it's morning. I guess you guys slept through all that terrifying screams. Chill, chill, okay. Yeah. Whew. We caught a body over here at the Munson's trailer. I don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> wow, those two look so upset and so excited. <laughs> oh! Uh -huh. Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. Hey, Mike. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Oh, what's that? Um, it's nothing. It's just a skinny I've been walking around. Cool. That's a rag shirt, man. Ocean Pacific? Oh, great, Mike. This is, uh, my friend Ergon. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. No, it's a <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Don't sweat it, man. I'll get you the good threads out of here. I heard a lot about your sister. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, here we go. Yeah, this is kind of awkward, man. Yeah, so awkward. And everything was just like, it was perfect. But? But I'm having this problem where it's like, I should stop talking. 
I have said everything I need to say. But then I guess I get nervous. I mean, the words, they just they keep spilling out. And it's like my, my brain is moving faster than my mouth, or, or rather my, my mouth is moving faster than my brain. And so I'm thinking, there's only for myself, and I want to stop thinking, and I'm trying to stop thinking, but I can't. And She's I'm doing it right now, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> oh, dear. What's this? I thought we were watching Thundercats. Oh, just getting that murder. What? Yeah, it's on every channel. Did they say who it is? Uh, not yet. Hey, maybe Chris is in the studio after all. Hey, don't say that. Well, I said it was a joke. Come on, it's all just not. Uh oh. Okay. Eddie the Freak with Chrissy the Cheerleader? Exactly. His name's not in the news yet or anything, but I guarantee Eddie is suspect number one right now. That was crazy. Eddie didn't do this. Well, we can't rule it out. Okay. Yes, we can. Dustin! You don't know him like I do, Max. Okay? Okay, well, I mean, they said the same shit about Ted Bundy. Yeah, he's like a, a super nice guy, but then he's mm. like, well, what happened on the weekend? He's saying Eddie is like... Then find Eddie. Or maybe not find Eddie. I don't know. There's a risk there. Yeah. There's... Why, why come to Dustin of all people? Getting back together and be quick about it. Yeah, this is. There's only one person who knows what actually happened. Eddie. <laughs> getting. Get about that. And what do we do about it? I suppose there's only one way to find out. What are you doing? We're gonna call that number. Hey. And we're going to find out who the hell sent you that letter. But we're doing it. By the way. Because you've got some burner phones. Let's shoot this one up. Get the elephant. Or, oh, 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 that is, that's, it's honestly just going to make his brain cells worse, not going to help you at all. Friends don't lie. You're friends with Angela and Stacy and you come to parties here? Okay, so 
I asked for vomit green and I got vomit green. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Why is she lying? Maybe because she just wants to not appear like sad or something. She wants to appear actually like sad, happy. Look, this this doesn't have to do with that cat scream, does it? What did Chrissy say? You talked to her. What did she say? And she said she was gonna go home, get changed, something like that. Did she mention anything about buying drugs for the party? Drugs? No. No way, Chrissy, Chrissy doesn't mess with that crap. What about Eddie Hunt? That freak? No. No way. Wait, what? Be her, Chrissy. This is just a terrible situation. Oh, okay. Yes, see, this someone was doing that. Someone was murdered. How many phones do you have? Uh, two, one. Uh, technically three, you have to in the back. What? Oh, okay, okay. What are you doing, man? Setting up base of operations. Base of operations? Do I know you? I don't think so. Yeah. Actually, I do know you. Your friend Benson. You killed that kid last year. What? What? Scar in the face from the crash. It was an accident. An accident? That went red all the way home instead of calling us. You're a murderer, is what you are. And what you know, it's a murderer. Murderer. So he's in I'm fine. He's just um, on edge. I mean, or is we all are. What? What? What is? Well, you check on your friend, just be fast. Whoa! Wait! Oh, oh, oh for a second. I, I, for a second there, I thought like the mirror was showing like a different image on the officer. <laughs> Made it a little terrifying. What's that? What's that? It's not this letter. It's from our community. That's where I'm going. I know. So you're going to Emerson with Nancy? No, I'm not. Oh. She just doesn't know the fact. You're dead, man. You are so oh. dead. What was I supposed to do? Not lie. Not lie. Yeah. Not lie. Yeah. It's like I just like just tell her the truth. Yeah. No, no, because because if I told her the truth, then she just she just throw her dreams out the window. Come out here and deal with me. Yeah. Uh. I just I can't take that. Like you know, like this this huge. I'm loving these wide shots know. though. These are really cool. Like, Cycle. You want it to stop, but what is your approach here, man? You're just slow motion break up with Nancy? I guess. No, man! I know, I know, I don't know what to do. Palm tree the light, that's what you gotta do. Palm tree the light? No, no, go. I'm LA, I'm LA. I'm LA. Viva, 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 She's gonna die out there. Alright, everyone. This next song is dedicated to Jane, the local snitch.
He's a part of that freak devil cult hellfire. The cop is a Chrissy Whisper came to buy drugs. Drugs? Huh. That's what I said. Chrissy would never touch this shit. And they wouldn't even show her parents her face. I don't want this freak to Chrissy. But he did something sick. Well, they sacrificed her. Doing the blood for the devil. I guess Satan's do that. And that's what I'm saying. It's this cult business. Hellfire isn't a cult. It's just a DMV club. It's like a game. It, it's fantasy. And it's how exactly is it, you know, all of that, Sinclair? Well, well it's my sister. Yeah, she's like, she's like a total girl, you know? But, uh, like, she plays a lot sometimes, and I'm sure your sister doesn't kill you, right? Well, shit, I read the wrong person plays this game. It can, it can warp their mind. And they confuse fantasy and reality, and innocent people die. You know, he got lost. He thought Chris was just a part of this, this sick game. And chances are, he's still in the game. Meaning, he's gonna kill you. But not if we can help him. Well, Chris, you want us to just stand by when the cops go around pursuing some, some bullshit leads? Spreading when we're saying she's some some druggy. No, no, she wants to go out there. She wants to do something about it, wouldn't she? Yeah. Then let's go on some first. Yeah. I guess um, you get better warn your friends as best as you can. Hey guys, am I going to leave? Seriously? Yeah. Apparently, Eddie gets his drugs from some guy named Reaper Rick, and sometimes Eddie crashes there. That's not promising. Um, where does this Reaper Rick go? See, that's the thing. No one knows. He's more of a a legend than someone that people actually know. Well, what about a last name? Let me guess. Maybe you don't have a last name. Rick, Rick. Well, Rick's already in the house. He's one of Rick's. So let's nail it down. Rick, Rick. It's time to break him on pot. He can talk to him. Teach him to talk to his feelings. Teach him to talk to his feelings. Teach him to talk to his feelings. Bingo. Captain, I'll get the tea. 2121 Holland Road. That's not my mother's way. No, no, it's a perfect time. Mm, smart, clever. I'm telling you, talking to everyone. Hello? Hey, Daniel. Hello? Hey, Daniel. 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 Hey, Daniel.
Meanwhile, Elle has like a book of letters for me. That's because she's my girlfriend, Will. And us? We're friends. We're friends. Well, we used to be best friends. Well, why am I the bad guy? Mike. Just find her, okay? Angela! Uh oh. Look who it is. She looks upset. You ruined my day. Oh no! <laughs> so are you a big party teacher today? You'll just have to cry to your dad instead. Oh wait. Can't do that either. <laughs> No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. That's worse than... That's even worse. That's just worse. What did you do? in the boat. Ow, you could have not like that. Gently. Dustin, good Dustin. Oh, they're about the only ones who will. Wow, you let it get dark before you should have like the cops are right there. You should have called them. That's like, seriously, if somebody goes missing around a crime scene, that's probably very suspicious, and you should definitely have, like, some... Hey, officer? Yeah, thank you, finally, hey, officer. officer. What are you still doing here? Um, did I have my friend from the car earlier? I, I can't find him. You don't think you're crazy. So don't bullshit me, man. I know how this sounds. We're not bullshitting. You know how people say Hawkins is cursed. They're not way off. There's another world. A world hidden beneath Hawkins. Thank you. 
god, that is... Ugh. This is our... This is our... BBBG. D&D. Okay. Okay, episode two, huh? Mm. I like I like how I like how now we've got like our answers or sort everything. Of we got Eddie's kind of confession, we got everything kind of that sorted. We just need to find Nancy and get her like, group. And we need to get L oh gosh. Oh man. And then Nancy, like uh, John Joyce is about to like go on to get Hopper. Like, like she's got this old like side quest she's gonna deal with. Like that's her main quest. And then, like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, yeah. And then, of course, somebody's gonna drive down the road and find that kid and find another victim. And ugh. so, yeah, I. Oh my gosh. All right. So far, really creepy, really good. Just, this is this is really terrifying. Like, I don't like. I like. Man, I don't know what to say. So yeah. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care, and I'll see you there in the next one. Bye-bye.